Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to talk about graphs and lines. So the main idea of this video is to show you that how useful the point slope form is, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And why the point slope formula is so useful is it tells you that if you know the slope of a line and any point at all on that line, you will be able to come up with an equation of the line. And usually, when you have that form, if you want to draw it by hand and graph it, you will change it into y equals mx plus b, or y-intercept form. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, a um, little bit of notation. You definitely want to remember that m equals slope in math. And when you change it to y equals mx plus b, b equals the y-intercept. So x equals 0, and y will always equal this. So I'm going to do an example. Find the equation of the line passing through the points 1, 2, and 3, 4. So remember, these are written as x, y, and I'm going to make this x, 2, y, 2. So first of all, we're going to find the slope. So m equals y, 2, minus y, 1. That's rise over x, 2, minus x, 1. So rise over run. So I'm going to take y2, which is 4, minus y1 is 2, over x2, 3, minus x1 is 1. So I'm going to get 4 minus 2 is 2, over 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 over 2 is just 1. So next I'm going to come up with the equation of the line by throwing it into the point-slope form. So I'm going to do y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. So we already know that m is 1. x we're going to leave alone. It's going to be our x in y equals mx plus b. So x minus x1, it doesn't matter which of these two points you use, but since I named this one x2, y2, I'm going to use this point because they're x1 and y1. So x minus x1 is 1, and over here y minus y1 is 2. So the first thing I'm going to do is distribute this 1, and it's not going to be very exciting. y minus 2 equals x minus 1. I'm going to pull the 2 over to this side, so plus 2, plus 2, and I'm just going to draw this up here because I've run out of space. y equals x minus 1 plus 2. y equals x plus 1. So now, oh, I didn't write out what line. It's going to be the line 4x plus 3y equals 2. So find the equation of a line perpendicular to the line 4x plus 3y equals 2 passing through the point 1, 2. So you can think about this as y minus y1 equals 1 over m. It's perpendicular, which basically means when you graph the two of them, the slope of 1 will be going this way, for example. It doesn't always have to be. But the point is, when you have two lines, the angle between the lines is 90 degrees. That's what perpendicular means. So to find the line, you're taking the negative reciprocal of the slope. So negative 1 over m. You don't have to write that. Um, you can just remember it. So x minus x1. So y minus y1, I'm going to still let this equal x1, y1. So y minus y1, y minus 2 equals the slope we're going to find by putting it into y-intercept form. So 3y equals negative 4x plus 2, y equals negative 4 over 3x plus 2 over 3. So the negative reciprocal 
of negative 4 over 3. It's negative times a negative, so positive. We're going to flip this fraction. So positive 3 over 4, x minus x1 is 1. So y minus 2 equals, we're going to distribute the 3 quarters, 3 fourths x minus 3 over 4. Take the 2 over this side, plus 2, plus 2. I'm going to move over here. y equals 3 fourths x. And negative 3 fourths plus 2 is 5 over 4. So that's the equation in y-intercept form. So now I'm going to still use 4x plus 3y equals 2. And I'm going to find the equation of a line perpendicular to 4x plus 3y equals 2, still passing through the point 1, comma 2. So if you're graphing perpendicular lines, it basically means they will go on forever and never touch each other, never cross, because their slope is exactly the same. So I already found that the slope of this line equals negative 4 thirds. So I know that y minus y1 equals negative 4 thirds x minus x1. So y minus 2 equals negative 4 thirds x minus and minus, so plus, oh this was 1, I guess I should have mentioned that, plus 4 thirds. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides. y equals negative 4 over 3 x plus, I've already done 4 thirds plus 2, 10 over 3. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, good luck in your math.